Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Spyro Year of the Dragon. Haha, <laughs> we're back to Spyro. Matt, when, when, when did we play Spyro 2? Was that season 9? It is season 32. What just happened? Oh, demo mode. <laughs> so, let me get out of this thing so we don't see too much. In fact, I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't wanna see. <laughs> Who was that? Who knows? So, yeah, it has been like 20 games, 20 plus games since the last time we played a Spyro game. So I figured it's about time to wrap up the trilogy from the original PlayStation. And this will be very weird because, uh, I mean, I should feel like I'm good at this game because I just only recently beat it for the first time. Not 100%. I'm still working on 100%. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing that. We're gonna go for 100% just like before. Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing on this save, on this uh, memory card. I was I was uh, quick to make a new memory card just in case. I feel like I should do that for every single game I play on the PlayStation 3 from here on out. So yeah, 100% or whatever is max. I don't really know. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, and let's enjoy this game. I mean, Spyro 2 was pretty much half blind for the entire last. Uh, last area, but this game is, uh, this game is more, more fresh, so let's see. Icon, let's see, uh, Sparks, Hunter, Money Bags, <laughs> I want to do Money Bags. <laughs> uh, there's the, there's the Fairy, whoever that is. You know, let's go with Money Bags, just because. It cut out again. Oh. <laughs> it, it's just like when it cuts out and loses feed. It's so nerve-wracking. managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Yeah, it begins. Man, it's been a while. <laughs> okay, there goes there goes Hunter. Oh God, I completely forgot about the lag. Or the PlayStation 3 uh, PS original version of this game, just like with Spyro 2, had a lot of lag during random points. And I totally thought it was because of my uh, my computer setup before, but that's not the case anymore because this is being recorded on my new computer. 
I mean, this should just this should just run nice and smooth if it's based on that, but it probably won't. So, yeah, just expect some lag. So, standard Spyro stuff. Gather gems, uh, rescue things. In this game, instead of orbs, it's actually uh, Spyro, uh, dragon eggs. Circles, circles of fire. X's jump. I want to charge. That's square. I can charge in the air. I, think I can also do yeah, a little tiny... Uh, little lift at the end of a flying thing if I press triangle. Do I have the other moves? I don't think I have the other moves. God, it feels so weird playing this after coming from other games, especially like Bioshock and Final Fantasy whenever I play that. Like, when did I, when did I beat this? I beat this must have been April, I think. So it has been a while, a little bit. All right, here's our first dragon egg, Isabel. And Zoe, or Zoe, I think, uh, is the fairy that'll show up and save our game whenever we get the chance. Like right here. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right, press the L2 or R2 buttons. To quickly center the camera behind you, press the L1 or R1 button. You can look all around by holding the triangle button down. Thank you for that. I just uh, just noticed I had not started my timer. So we are about eight seconds into this recording as far as I'm aware. We're, we're probably closer to like six or something, six minutes. All right, that sounds like it, I dropped something, but I don't, oh, yep, I totally did. The different colored gems give you different colored prices. Red gems are one, green gems are two. Uh, I don't think we've seen the other kinds of gems, but there's blue gems, uh, gold gems, and purple gems. Grab that. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I'm going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Excellently hidden. We just found one right over there. So as she knows, there's a level here. Sunny Villa. Just like before, just walk through that gate. You'll enter straight to the level. Oop, there's a oh, I forgot purple gems are five. There's a gold gem. Ten. Oh, I guess, no, purple gems are blue gems. They're close enough. Ooh, there's an egg up there. Oh, hello. I see money bags and you. Spyro. My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. 300 gems needed to freeze Sheila. We have 74. So money bags is going to be like the wall that you have to get past sometimes. Unfortunately, his wall is cash, so we need to find some money. So we have 76 right now. Wooden boxes like that can be charged or are set ablaze. Metal things like this cannot be set ablaze. They can only be charged. I don't know why I'm explaining this. Maybe it's because it's been like 20-something games since the last Spyro game we played. I think it's 23. Is there 23 games since we played Spyro? All right, I saw Hunter up there, but we're going to wait just a little bit while I explore the rest of this area. Well, eh, you know what? Let's go back before we explore more of this area. He is Mr. Tutorial Man, so let's learn let's learn something from him. Yo, Spyro, 
I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump, then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. I mean, he can't glide, but he can jump pretty far. So let's do that. Ta-da! I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Okay, so it's called a hover. And whoop! Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Thank you, Hunter. Coal train. I wonder if it's better that they're hatching right now or not. Because, I mean, uh, uh... Why did she need the dragon eggs in the first place? Alright, hold on. There's some things over here. We have to make our way back. So this one we're going to have to glide to the right. Gotta get used to X being jump. <laughs> I'm not used to X being jump. Bioshock at it is Y, which is the very top button. Well, Fazio doesn't have a jump. All right, Cloud Spires right here. There actually was something else in this cave. We go down here. We. There is this. This is a Superfly Power Up Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. So in Spyro 2, we got introduced to certain power ups that we could get. And this is Superfly, which allows my wings to actually do more than just glide and hover. But let's go through this area just very quickly. Oh, 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 oh thank God, I forgot I could swim. Also, I thought that was totally poison water, and I would have gotten hurt. <laughs> so Sparks, the little dragonfly that's following us, is our health. Yellow means he's full. If he takes a hit, he'll turn blue. If he takes another hit, he'll turn green. And if he takes three hits total, he'll turn to nothing. And then we're on our own. And then if we get after that, Spyro gets hit, and he gets killed. And we lose a life. I want to grab all this stuff because I feel like we're going to need that super fly power up to get from what I could see up there. But I think the A is up there. Yep. Actually, no, that was just the skyline. Let's go get that egg. And here's a wind. There's a there's a wind thing right there. All right. So as long as that meter at the at the right is on. That's how fast, that's how long the, this power will last. Let's get me up here. Aha. Oh, I was close. Amy. Oh yeah, you'll totally be able to tell when the lag spikes hit, when the music just goes completely silent. I have to go up there. There's something up there. Hold on one moment. We're not done yet. Not with you at least. You know, we haven't even found... Oh, no, I went through the wind. You don't even know the name of this area, do we? All right. Come on. Give me some time. No! <laughs> I hit the ledge! Oh, well. Well, balls. Oh, we have to do... We still have to get that. What is the name of this area? Let's take a look at our atlas, which is pretty much just like our inventory thing. This is Sunrise Spring. This is the home world. There are five eggs in this area. We have four of them, or we have three of them, and we know where one of them is. And this will tell us where to find all the eggs, except for one, which is a hidden egg, which we don't know where it is. It also tells us how many gems there are in this area, where there's 400, and how much of this area were completed. So we're 55% done because of the eggs and the gems. Uh, we need 300. That's our goal for this episode. Here's all the worlds that we can go to so far. Sunny Villa, Cloud Spires. We haven't seen any of the other ones like Molten Crater, Sea Cell Shore, Mushroom Speedway, and Sheila's Alp, and Buzz's Dungeon, which is the boss world. Get me out of this thing. There we go. So let's, I gotta go back down there and get Superfly. I need that thing. I don't. I don't need it, but I want it. Even if it does cost me fails to get it. Spyro 2 was the first game we introduced the fail counter. And that was in, until, like, episode 20 or something. 
It's nice that an entire Spyro series now has the has the fail counter from the first episode. Got it! Alright, so this thing right here is a butterfly. A very colorful butter butterfly. If I break this open, Sparks is gonna chase it. And that gives me extra life. That's what butterflies do. There are other colored butterflies that we'll be getting into. Probably back here. Once we actually start going further this way. Oh, yes. You can totally see them now. And I can see someone else. There's Hunter. How about you? I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge. And the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. Ten eggs needed to open the portal. Which it says right there. Nope. I'm late for a dinner party. I don't care. You already heard it. So these are sheep. Or as they're basically known as fodder. <laughs> which is very kind. Fodder, when you kill them, always produces a, a, a butterfly. Which Sparks will chase and then eat. If you use low on health, it will charge one of his hits. If not, he'll just eat it. And then after a while, I think ten butterflies, he'll get a life from it. I gotta remember to jump. God, the music's slowing down a little bit because of the lag. Go away. I didn't I didn't burn you, friend. Tiki friend. Oh, that poor defenseless sheep. Fodder. <laughs> what is that over there? Hello. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. If you like, I can change the game camera to active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. Let's try active mode. Your camera is now in active mode and will move faster. If you don't like it, come back and see me. Or change it yourself by using the options menu. Oh yeah, this is way better. Alright. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down the square button. Thank you for coming on this trip with me, Hunter, and not doing a single thing. <laughs> right, before we go over there, let's grab this stuff. There's a spark sign here. Spyro, I've got a special tax task for sparks. Meet me back here later. So that's something that's gonna happen later on, and that's something that's kind of new to Year of the Dragon. But first, let's go swimming. Thank God this isn't poison water. I would take hits, and I wouldn't like it. Like the other colored water we've already been in. Typically, if it's not see-through, you're gonna get hurt. And that other one was kind of not see-through. All right, here's another portal right here, but this requires 20 eggs. I only have three. I'm just trying to get... I have enough gems to go unlock Sheila, which is actually what I wanted. Fodder recharged. Let's go over here quickly and talk to this guy. Here I was, about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach, and my portal just disappeared right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal will turn on again. So this one needs 14 eggs in order to hatch. Hatch, in order to open up. All right, time to go swimming underwater. Luckily, Spyro can apparently hold his breath long enough to stay underwater indefinitely. There's the egg. Bruce. I wonder how scared he was that he hatched underwater. He didn't seem to mind. Nope, give me that. I can't I can't fire underwater because it'll just be, become bubbles like that. I could try and expend all of Spyro's bubbles, but he might die. <laughs> Not really. I don't think he can. Just get as much of this as we can. There's some that we currently can't get because of reasons that we'll be explaining Maybe later. Maybe not this episode. Get me out of the water. Okay, so there's a balloon here. Very similar to Spyro the One. You know, the, th the fourth game we played. I got all the money! Yay! So I can't reach that balloon. 
So we can't leave, which is fine because I don't want to leave yet. But now that we have all this money, let's go unlock a new best friend. Ow. Hi, Hunter. Hi, Hunter. <laughs> He's a cheetah. He's fast. Don't, don't mind the fact that there's two hunters. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Well, it wasn't a small fee. It required just gathering pretty much every single gem in this level. But I want Sheila. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Oh, why quit cutting out like that? Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Getting some story. Saving the game. Adventure continues. I think this is the perfect place to call it. We don't have one of the eggs yet, but it's impossible for us to get because we're not currently equipped to get it. But we just did unlock another level, Sheila's Alp. So, we have now seen two active portals, three active portals, and then three portals that are currently closed because the magic concern is wearing out. We have all the gems in this area. So all we have left is everything that's inside this hub world. Head bash on the rock. Well, there we go. Wait, do I not have head bash? I totally thought I had head bash. I do. <laughs> I, I was pressing the wrong button. I was assuming that it was, it was charge. It was not charge. It's just the hover button. All right, so there's a giant rock over here. <laughs> there's a giant rock right here. Let's head bash this rock. Boom, Liam. Oh, poor kid. He was also hidden inside a rock. I wonder, I would be crying too if that was it. There it is, level complete. So the hub world, sun, sunrise, spring, is done. Ooh, look, there's the shiny butterfly, and then we got an extra life. There we go. So, now we're done. <laughs> On the next episode of Spyro, Year of the Dragon, we're going to finally begin going to other levels, starting with, oh, this one right here, Sunny Villa. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.